used my papers. Uh, it's not, not a campaign in place for controller. I really was then focused on doing my job as a controller. And uh, really just this year started up more campaign related activities. I did not update my, my um, paperwork. However, I think if you look at anything that uh, Liz Brantwell posted, uh, you'll see she has had nothing to do with anything on my campaign. Uh, probably really an error on my part in not updating the records, but I've had nothing to do with the things that have been going on in my community. Uh, I'm barely home these days, to be completely honest. I am all over the state. And, um, you know, I, I can only say, you know, she does what she does the same way our municipalities run everything that they do. I have not had to do with it. I've been uh, a vocal voice for working together to find common ground to get a balanced budget passed. Every single press conference I've had, I have spoken up about that. And, um, you know, I'm, you know, I mean, that's really I, I think this goes to an issue of character and honesty. And there have been multiple instances where you've said one thing and the facts have said contrary. So this isn't my opinion speaking. Right now, you just said that you haven't updated your paperwork. So well, let's let's give you the credit. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. When you first did this, it was here you are as state representative, right? Elizabeth Brandt, highlighted in the back. You have another one, more recent, that you signed. This is your signature. It was in 2015. Yes, but it says for comptroller. It no longer says right. for Illinois right. but state she's representative. Had to do with my she's still on there. But then, wait up, wait up, because I'm not finished. In August of just this year, not 2015, mm -hmm. this is the latest one where you eliminated your former treasurer and added Melissa Labrash, but you did not update your chairman. In other words, you had the opportunity to update your Once chairman again, and chose not to. to. And I think the facts matter. But that audit doesn't name that, she, that person as chairman, right? She no, does, she's, she's named she's it. So just, you have to amend it to take her off, my, right? So if she wanted to take her off, she could have just easily amended it when she took off the treasurer. But I done that. But this okay. matters. She's had nothing to do with my campaign. As long as we're talking about transparency, i just like to uh, mention two things. My opponent, who was talking about transparency, was on both the city of Chicago payroll and the state of Illinois payroll simultaneously, taking full salary, funding her full pension benefits, both as a city worker and as a state worker uh, for 10 years. Two pensions, Thank two you. salaries at the same Thank time. Thank you for bringing her that up biggest, because I honestly feel like I am her, sitting her next to you. Okay, her biggest accomplishment in her office, place. her biggest accomplishment in her office, since it's about transparency and honesty, uh, was done when she transformed the city stickers, was done by hiring a company that contributed to her, her, her campaign both before, during, and after. Clarity Partners is the name of the company, one of her larger uh, contributors. So um, she is all tied in with all of this. She continues to attack me on small things like this where I really had nothing to do in my own village because her record is one it's your home passing the the ba she on balance budget. Can I just address her? Can I address for, that? Yes, thank you. I did you not. You collected two paychecks for a period of time? No. Ten so, years. Yes. So this is this is her her latest false allegation. And it just my point is that I feel like I'm sitting next to the embodiment of the two worst governors in the history of the state of Illinois. Number one, she parrots exactly what convicted pathological liar Rod Blagojevich said about me years ago, which was disproven at the time. So it would be nice if you actually did your due diligence and before making a false allegation, which unlike me that I didn't make a false allegation about was so what you, you are doing. Did. Not so here, I have, can I show you this? No, just tell us. No, okay, so this, I'm gonna leave this with you. But it's a perfect example of the litany of paperwork that I presented from the moment I got elected as state representative when I worked for the Department of Planning and Development and I went out of my way and I'm giving you an example as you are aware it is extremely important that during the days that I am in session I not be paid by the city as well it is of utmost importance to me that my records be perfectly clear regarding this matter and like this I stipulated every single day that I would be working in the city um, clerk's office or not so working in the you had two jobs. Yeah, so I had two jobs. Very clear. That you Very clear. Doing the one and that's exactly right. And so to say that I was double dipping is a lie. It's nothing more than a lie. And I have the documents to prove that from the minute I was sworn in and took my oath, I was going to be the most honest politician that you've ever met. Okay, and so I, I'm still that record. person today. And I do take offense to you launching a false allegation that you can't back up 
with the paperwork that I can. So I continue to be the honest politician. So that did you or did you not take two, two, pensions, two pensions? So I pay into two different pensions because I was elected. Um, hey, there's no problem with that. I work two jobs. You have paid a problem? Based on a full salary. So here's what I'm going to ask you. Do you have a problem with a person, which is most people that I know that are you know, struggling Americans who work two jobs where, as you know, let me no, no, I have to interrupt because this is going on. We had to, we had to one. Well, I think this is such an important like allegation, what right? What she might be saying, correct me if I'm wrong, is that you're, even though you were paid, you were not paid in your current job when you were down in Springfield. So let I was first finish, a city finish, employee. Let me finish, let me finish. Okay. But at the end of the day, you get two pensions, and I think you're saying that both pensions are based on full salary. That's the record they're, that we have. She paid I two pay pensions based, based on, full on my salary. So eight and a half percent of my salary was always deducted. I of whatever I made, it was time deducted and paid into that particular check. You know, just like if you were being deducted for Social Security, you pay based on what you make. And people who work two jobs, one might be a part-time job, as in the case of a Springfield legislator, one was a full-time job, which was the city of Chicago. But as you can see by my paperwork, I always docked the days that I was in Springfield. So my, my payments would reflect uh, one pension, which was the city of Chicago's pension, which was the first pension that I came into. And then when I was elected to the office of the uh, legislature, I was on the uh, General Assembly retirement fund uh, pension system. But when I retire, I will only have one pension because I get to fold them into the and same pension. will that pension, pension be less than it would be had you not docked yourself in the days when you were in Springfield? Well, yes, because I didn't get paid for those days. But what I would say is this, that I also chose to not take the more lucrative pension that I could have taken when I was elected city clerk. I just went ahead and continued to be in the regular uh, municipal employee employees and annuity benefit okay. fund pension instead of the Cadillac plan. Mm -hmm. So this is just nothing more than a lie. Yeah. And I take offense to the fact that you didn't do your due diligence and just parroted what Robert Goyevich has already been discredited having said. And so, you know, I've been careful about what I've said about you and can back it up. And I think that this is just a cheap shot that I was expecting you to take, but have now, you know, be happy to provide you the documentation. Okay. That we, have the, we, have the, we have the date on the pension. I'm sorry, we can, we can go all day. Go for another hour easy. Yeah, you know, I just like to do what you're going to I'd and like I'm to know what she's going to do to be independent. Claire, I know we didn't ask you as much, but you can that. see this is real important. We had to get to the yes. bottom of a few issues here. But I do think you've come in. Are we allowed to make a closing Thanks statement right now? Um, I think we could wrap it up. Let's just, you know, I, yeah. I, I, Would you like a copy of the document? Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much.